What thou seest when thou dost wake, do it for thy true love take. Love and languish for his sake. Be it ounce or cat or bear, hard or gore with bristled hair, in thy eye that shall appear, when thou wakest, it is thy doom. Well, Midsummer Night's Dream is one of Shakespeare's, uh, I think, most popular plays. Uh, it's done quite often um, in Shakespeare festivals around the country. For a long time, I I've always had this concept floating around in my head to put the show in the 1960s, and so I did it for this production. The show takes place more or less in the summer of love and sort of emphasizes the time period and, and, and I think what I would consider to be the fun aspect of the 1960s. I set the world of the fairies into uh, uh, the hippie culture, so I created a little hippie tribe that's living out in the woods, sort of communing with nature, and, and, and I went in that direction, and I think it's going to proved to be sort of a fun and interesting concept. Puck fits in with that really nicely. I would describe Puck as the hippie's hippie. She's a hippie, even by other hippie's standards. And she is what sets off a lot of the action in the show. Her, her blunders and her goofing off and her messing with people is what pushes the show along. And it causes all the drama in the show and it also causes a lot of the love in the show. And it's... I mean, like, yo, fighting the man and causing love, that's kind of what hippies do. Uh, originally, it's uh, written so that it's the Athenians and the fairies. And we've switched it because this concept is now in the 60s, and we're sitting on a college campus. So now I need to sort of make Oprah more of a hippie, more of a 60s sort of free-flowing sort of guy. And it's kind of fun because uh, he goes from angry to, you know, just going around laughing and having a great time. And it's really interesting to have that character switch. The rehearsal process has just been so much fun because, you know, Tom has said, just have fun. And you know, if you go in every day just being like, I'm just gonna have fun, it's just been a good time. Tom just really emphasizes that the show's supposed to be fun, so we go into rehearsals and we kind of just like fool around and play with each other. I, I always like to make sure that the students have a good handle on the text. That's very important to me. I believe in a language-based approach to Shakespeare. We sat, we read the play, we looked at the text, we studied its structure and the way sort of Shakespeare uses language to give us a sense of who the people are in the play and what they're about. Well, I, during rehearsal, I watch over the script and make sure that people don't interchange words, add little words in that because it'll mess up with the verse, adding different beats into it. Uh, which can have different meaning in Shakespeare and different weight. And also, Tom has had me go through and look for different substitutes for words. Everything's going to be amazing, the, every, every, all the technical aspects, of course. The stage looks great. Um, and all the actors have put so much into this process. You know, everyone's really just kind of going all the way. And it also is something that anyone will be able to understand because everyone's done such a good job of really getting the message across it'll definitely come across. The language will not be lost at all on people because the actors are delivering it so precisely and so cleanly that you are able to fully understand everything. I think when audiences see this production and they see it placed in the 1960s and they think about that period in American history, I think that they will see, wow, you know, to a certain extent, yeah, it does fit in many ways and rings true, which will bring the play's themes, I think, just as close to them. Uh, the, the 60s theme on the whole thing just really, it brightens it up, you know what I mean? It kind of keeps you moving and keeps you laughing, keeps you staring at it. And it it's going to be a great time. You should really come and see it. We are there to have fun for two hours in front of you for a night, just like watching people play. If you have nothing to do in Fredonia on a Friday or Saturday, why not go to the theater for two hours and laugh your little took us off? I hope audiences come away feeling that the two hours or so that they've spent in the theater has been a fun time because of all of Shakespeare's plays in terms of just fun value. I think Midsummer Night's Dream really tops them all. And certainly I think the audiences will come away humming a couple of tunes and feeling they had a great night in the theater. I think if you want to have a good time and just have a good night, you should come to the show. And if you could take one thing away from this, it's just a smile because you should really be happy at the end of it. Never